Saudi Arabia is one of those countries with the lowest rainfall throughout the year. In Saudi Arabia, the annual rainfall is only around 4 inches. This rain occurs primarily in the western mountains, from where the water flows down to the Red Sea. In 1970, the Saudi government made the decision to improve their agriculture so that the country could fulfill its food demand through domestic agriculture. If we look at the satellite imagery of Saudi Arabia, thousands of square kilometers of land have been converted into green agricultural areas. These circular areas are agricultural lands that have been transformed from desert through center irrigation. In this irrigation system only the required amount of water is given to the plants with the help of rotating wheels along pipes fixed in a circle. This method has transformed 5,000 square kilometers of land into agriculture in Wadi al Dawasar alone, and it continues to expand each year. While we see many green circles on this map, each one of these circles represents approximately 100 acres. This is in contrast to the normal irrigation system, also known as flood irrigation, which absorbs a large amount of water into the ground. In contrast, center pivot irrigation conserves water, with up to 90% savings. Saudi Arabia has managed to convert deserts into farmland in various regions. However, the question arises, where does the water come from, given the lack of rivers and rainfall in these areas? Since 1970, Saudi Arabia has discovered underground water sources in the desert. Saudi Arabia has found a limited amount of water, approximately 480 cubic kilometers, of which 21 cubic kilometers are being used for these farmlands. Additionally, Saudi Arabia generates water through desalination, making it the world's first country to produce a significant amount of water using this method. However, desalination requires a substantial amount of energy, primarily sourced from fuel and nuclear power plants. To address this energy consumption issue, the Al Beta project was launched. This project aims to trap rainwater in the waste mountains and prevent it from flowing into the Red Sea. In addition to these efforts, Saudi Arabia is constructing solar power plants and wind turbines. While solar plants generate electricity, they also have an indirect impact on rainfall. The sun's rays striking the solar panels can cause water vapor to rise into the atmosphere. This vapor can then attach to cold air, increasing the chances of rainfall. Similarly, wind turbines push air upward, resulting in a 5 cm increase increase in rainfall per year, promoting the growth of green plants and reducing desertification. In the 1960s, Saudi Arabia had only 11,400 square kilometers of fertile land. After 50 years of struggle and development, this area has expanded to 35,000 square kilometers. To put this in perspective, this fertile land area is large enough to fit Taiwan or Belgium. Nowadays, Saudi Arabia is self-sufficient in agriculture and even exports crops such as corn, soybeans, wheat, and rice. Saudi Arabia expects that by 2030, it will have 225,000 hectares of agricultural land. If you want to watch the video about the world's largest tire graveyard, click on the right. Click left for the Three Gorges Dam. Thanks for watching, thank you.